I'm going to show you how to create an advertising banner that you can publish on the internet and drive traffic to an affiliate opportunity or whatever you want. Well, it's very easy. Here's a free website that you can build it online. It's called Banner fans.com as you can see in the top left hand corner bannerfans.com now let me recommend go ahead and signing up for a free account so click sign up and and get get yourself a free account I'm gonna go ahead and click login and then I'm gonna log in to my account now the reason I think you should get a free account is because um, they will publish it on this website so if you need a URL of your published banner they're going to do it for you on here so otherwise you're going to have to save it to com your computer and maybe publish on your blog or something like that and that's fine too if you're going to do it that way after you create your banner then you do not need to log in but anyway it's free and they've never sent me any junk email to my knowledge so i've been pretty happy with banner fans okie doke now any changes you make to this uh template here you have to click update banner and it will display the changes so the first thing let's change the size let's go to a real common size called full banner which is 468 pixels wide by 60 pixels tall okay I just changed it but it doesn't show the changes until you click update my banner boom you can see the changes now right now it's going from a darker blue fading down to a lighter blue as a matter of fact they're calling it a gradient which goes from black down to a lighter blue now to show you that you can change that to whatever you want and be creative. I'm going to click that black so it won't go from a darker blue. It's going to go from red. I'm going to click in this red area, put that target zone right there, boom, and then click update banner. And look, you can get crazy and psychedelic if you want. You can change the fade using these features. If you want, instead of using colors for the background, you want to use a photograph, you can come here and click browse on your computer, go find the file on your computer, and you can put a photo in the background there. Let's just keep it real simple. Instead of a, a gradient or a photo, I'm going to use a solid color and I'm going to choose red. That's a real nice, loud, attention getting color for advertising. Click update my banner. Uh, that's kind of a pinky color. I wanted to get more of a red. So go right there, maybe. All right. Yeah. That's kind of a loud blood red. Now, if I hover over these, these texts, you see it creates that that X pattern of arrows crisscross if I hold my index finger down and left click on the mouse I can drag this to wherever I want as long as I'm holding my index finger down if I go to the second type down here I can do that with with it as well well I don't like script I think it's difficult to read so I want to stand out when you're dealing with a very busy page so we change the background, we change the size, things like that right now, the color. But now I want to change the font. So you go from layout to text and font, shadows and effects, border and format. All of these you can change. Now I am using Windows 7 operating system and some kind of Internet Explorer browser. I found that a lot of these features wouldn't work until I click this broken page. It's it's called the compatibility button or something like that and I think it emulates older sites and I think banner fans was created for Windows XP and I had to click on this until it turned blue and then a bunch of these features started working so if you have that same issue click that until it it turns blue up here in your browser this is your uh, URL address bar and you see a magnifying glass for search and then it's this torn in half page when you when you click it it turns blue and it stays blue as long as you're using it. So now I'm going to go to text and fonts and line one is this top one and they're using Kaufman bold italic. I'm going to switch that to a stock category right here. These are all script. I'm going to use stock. Whoops. Click click right here under face font. Click stock. Yeah, I'm going to use Arial black. It's real bold and fat and straightforward. All right, now in order for that to be seen, I have to click update my banner and boom, there it goes. All right, so um, I think white's a little washed out looking. So for the top coloring of the lettering, I'm gonna ch choose just a real loud yellow. All right, in order to see that displayed, I gotta click update my banner. There we go. And uh, I think the 
tagline here is a little difficult to read. So I'm going to go from Merced and I'm going to go to Stock Category and this time Arial Bold rather than Arial Black and then click Update My Banner. There you go. And I'm going to drag that to the middle there. Now one thing you can do that can make the, that lettering stand out a little bit more is now click on the Next tab and do Shadows. Uh, line 1 is obviously your top one, then line 2 is your bottom. Now when you click on this arrow it says which way do you want the shadow to fall? I want it to go and like the light is coming from the top right and the shadow to fall to the left. So I'm going to click for the shadow to fall on the bottom left. Alright, I did that for the top one, bottom left. I'm going to do it for the second line as well, bottom left. Alright, now it's not really displaying much of a shadow here. So for the top big bold one, I'm going to choose three pixels for the top line and then click update and I think you'll see it will pop out a little bit louder. There you go. And for the second one, I'm going to use uh, two pixels. I think three pixels is a little too bold for smaller uh, type font size or pixel size fonts. Click update. There you go. And it makes it stand out a little bit. Now, if you want a border, you can, you know, I think it looks fine the way it is, but if you want a border, you, you can put a border around it like a, a solid line or, or dotted lines like a coupon. You could do it. I'm just going to leave it on none. And format, I'm not even sure what that does. Oh, I'm just going to save it in a, uh, a JPEG, which is real common. It's also in a small banner. GIF files are real common, but any of these three formats, but I'm going to use a JPEG. Uh, pretty much any browser can handle that and um, there we go. So if I didn't have an account here I could click download this banner and I could download it to my computer. I'm going to call this uh, banner fans uh, whatever that number is test. And it's going to save it to my computer and go publish it anywhere I want and there we go. Alright so it's on my computer. However what I'd like to do since I did log into my account I am now going to save this by clicking Save Banner. And it's going to save it on this Banner Fans website under my account. They're going to ask me what I want to call it. So I'm just going to call it um, Your Banner. All right. And I'm not going to overwrite another one. So this will create a new banner. And as far as uh, target URL, I just, I just leave that blank and let them fill that in for me. I have to put in the CAPTCHA code here. It looks like it's 2ZDA. Whoops. 2ZDA. Oh, no, it's H. H. Okay. I'm going to click Save Banner, and it's going to remember it on this website. Okay, it has now saved the banner. So in order to see it, I'm going to go over here and click Banners. And there's my Your Banner. So let's click on it there. Now I'm going to need to grab the banner code right here. And If you want to see the URL where it's published, you go, go to the, the bottom right and I'm going to click Allow Access. It's going to allow me to save a copy of that. But I want that bottom right hand corner link. And let me show you what that will look like. It will look like a page like this. but I'm going to paste it and then go to it. All right, so this gives me this link right here. And let me show you where you put that. Like here's a website where you can publish it. This is for the URL. So I would put this URL that ends in .jpg, which uh, puts this photo of this banner we just made. I would grab this, copy it, and if I want to publish it on this website called Ad Hit Profits, under the banner URL, I'd put it right there. And then when people click on it, you want to put them uh, your affiliate link here. It doesn't matter what website, anywhere you publish it, it's just going to simply display that photo. But when they click on the photo, it's going to take them to your affiliate link, which is your target URL. So you need to go get your affiliate link and put it there. But where it displays the photo, it, it could be any website in the world, it doesn't matter. But what's important is that once you click update you can see your banner is published up here and so if you're you know dealing with ad hit profits or something where you're wanting uh, to get views and people to click on your banner and, and get traffic uh, you would come here to set up directory listing right here and it's going to give you this and you click edit 
and that's where you get these blanks to fill in. Now you can test it by clicking on your ad and it should take it, you to your affiliate site. So let me do that. Yes, and it takes them to my affiliate site and there's my affiliate ID Re RevShare Pro. So if they sign up for this extreme cash box, they would be a distributor of mine. As a matter of fact, I did get somebody to sign up using this system. So that's pretty much the basics of it. I hope that helps. You're welcome to ask a question or two. Uh, the other option is, you know, I can log in on my website, uh, which is a WordPress blog, and I click media. And I can publish this by clicking media, and I click add new right here, add new, and then I can go publish that. Where's that demo file? I think I called it your banners or whatever. Where was it? Let's just say it was this one right here, test banner. Okay, it just uploaded, then I click edit. You see a little indication that you've uploaded, and then I click edit. And then to get this URL, I, I don't use this one here. I come over here to the far right, and I copy that. And to show you what that looks like, I'm going to put it up here and go to it. And that's another URL that you can get. Um, so you would use that URL. And I published that on my RevSharePro.com website. So that's two different ways you can do it. But why not just take advantage of the Banner Fans account and then get this code down here in the bottom right. Pretty cool, guys. Hope that helps. You're welcome to ask questions. Have a great one. Hope this makes a difference.